everybody, I'm Michelle with Pretty Bloom and today I am going to start a series, uh, sort of. Um, and it's gonna be talking about, the series is gonna talk about Madison, the Madison Collection. And if you're not familiar with the Madison Collection, uh, these are, this is a bag from the Madison Collection. It's called the Gracie, Gracie bag. And the style number is 4413. Reminds me a lot of the Regina, the very popular Coach Regina bag. Um, that style number is 9983. But uh, yeah, I have a picture up in the Vintage Coach Eye Candy group comparing just like size-wise this bag with the Regina and another bag from another luxury Vintage Coach line. So if you're not part of that group, go ahead and sign up come over to the Vintage Coach Eye Candy group on Facebook and peruse all the photos that people post of awesome eye candy, Vintage Coach Eye Candy. So, Bonnie Cashin's included as well, by the way. But yeah, we're gonna talk, we'll start talking about, um, since this is my first video on the Madison collection, I'm gonna start talking about it. So, the Madison line is considered a luxury line, um, Vintage Coach, and it was uh, released, I believe, in the fall of 1993. This bag, however, the Gracie, was not released until, I think it was new in 1994. And so not too far after the release of the Madison Collection, this bag came out. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, 1993. So what that will tell you that you won't, nece you won't necessarily find a style number in the creed of these bags. Uh, they uh, could have a random registration number. Because remember, if a bag had to have been made in 1994 or later to have that uh, style number in the creed. Otherwise, it's just a random registration number. But because it is the beginning of the 90s, it wouldn't have been made in the 80s at all, beginning of the 90s. So if it was released in 1993, what do you have? Basically 1992 would have been the earliest. What you're gonna see is four numbers dash three numbers and I'm trying to think that there may have been some that ended up with no numbers. That's just because it would have been an error, but these bags were made in Italy, okay? I believe they were all made in Italy. I could be wrong about that. I will tell you the majority are made in Italy. Um, so yeah, they're Italian made bags. If there is another um, location, there was one that I was looking at that said United States. I think the bag was counterfeit though because there's a lot of errors. Uh, it was very interesting because it looked very similar. There was a lot of similarities to it. But either way, I believe it was counterfeit. That's the only one I had ever seen made in the United States, and I don't think it was real. So, okay, um, get your bags checked. But let's talk about Gracie. Again, style 4413. Here I have her just with her little top handle. She has a strap inside. Her color is beach nut. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Madison line in general. They were made um, with this, uh, what they call fine pebble textured leather, okay? It's a lot shinier. It's very different than that gloved hand coach leather, but it's still very lovely. It's not gonna rehab the same way, okay? So you don't wanna get a bag that's all banged up. I will say these bags seem to last or do re really well with use. They just couldn't have been necessarily swung around and abused and come back to life. They're not, if you have rubbing, like I think on this one I do, you see, there's nothing that you're gonna do about fixing that there, okay? I mean, you can put color on it and whatnot, but you're not gonna bring back this pebbling texture here, okay? So that's something to consider. Um, look at the wear, but like they have these like double turned um, edges, which really adds to the structure of a bag. Um, it's just, it's a really high, high quality bag. Sorry, I'm chewing gum. I probably shouldn't be doing that, but I am. Um, so yeah, it's pebble textured leather. <laughs> On the resale market, you will see people mention it or call it caviar leather. I have not figured out where people have gotten that from. I have not seen that in any catalog, um, mentioning caviar leather. I don't know what caviar leather is. As I go about the series, I'm going to continue to research that to try to see like, what are people talking about when they say caviar leather? But as far as I know, here's a catalog photo. All of the photos are all of the catalog uh, mentioning of uh, the Madison line, call it 
fine pebble textured leather. So it also includes a unique brass hardware. So the brass hardware is solid. I'm gonna to talk to you about rehabbing this. It's a little different than other vintage coach. You know I remove hardware, but look, I mean, I can remove that. This bag is lined, right? It has this, what they call a Fale Jacquard lining, okay? It's gonna be water resistant, um, stain proof, and probably pretty easy to clean, but you're not gonna be able to get to that turn lock there. So I do rehab these a little different, and I'll go over that eventually in another Madison video, but we're just kind of talking about the features. And here, maybe I can show you a picture of this Creed if it doesn't show up here. Yeah, I'll just show you a picture. There's your little Creed with uh, the Made in Italy. E is a country code for Italy or a factory code for Italy. And this one was made in 1996, so as you can see, it has the style number, again, 4413. And then, yeah, this is another unique feature, is this little zipper pull. You'll see these on the Madison bags as well. And as you notice, there's also uh, bags for some of the other uh, Vintage Coach bags started putting this type of turn lock on their bags like in the early 2000s but this one came in the 90s uh the one with the screws which actually i love removing them except i just don't on these uh, again we'll talk about it later so as you can see this is where you're going to put your strap i'll show you on the other bag on the other gracie where i already have the strap um on the bag so we'll go over that uh let's see what else so we talked about it is brass hardware um, it has that lining, that Folly Jacquard lining, and it's made from a fine pebble textured leather. This bag is formed. It has a, just this beautiful, beautiful form, but it's also really soft. It's pliable. It's soft and pliable. I'm going to talk to you about leather care in another video of these bags, but yeah. So, oh, let, so let's go ahead and talk about the Gracie. So she's a little cute top handle, cutie. She has a back pocket, okay? It's not the biggest back pocket. You could stick something in there, but not the biggest. And she's got a nice size little opening here with a little zipper pocket. She's adorable. And then she has feet on the bottom. Right there. Boop, boop. Oh, there's something on there. I need to get that off. But yeah, that double edging. Oh, this is beech nut. The colors are very specific for this line. Though you do have navy, which is not a specific color, and they call it forest. Um, it's forest green for other vintage coach. Um, there's another green too, but uh, we'll go over that as well later. W what other colors do they have that are not so specific? Navy, oh, black, and black is black, so. But this is beech nut, which is like their mahogany or their dark brown color, okay? And then you have this one. And she is what I believe is camel. Um, it wasn't a super common color, but, uh, yeah, I believe she is camel or sorry. I said camel, not camel, caramel. I believe she's caramel. Um, and this is her strap. Uh, let's see. The strap is 59 inches and it's adjustable. I have it. Do I have it on the, no, I could probably shorten it a little bit more. Yeah, I can shorten it more, but this is the setting I have it on right now. I should probably show you completely short. Again, I'm 5'7". Let's uh, see put her crossbody. This is probably a good length for me. Um, here is another catalog photo. It describes this line as they made it, they wanted it to go from day to night. They wanted you to be able to take these bags from day to night. So like, I guess more like work environment to evening environment. And I do think that fits the bill. They are so nice. They are so classy. They feel luxurious. They just, they really are. It's different though. It's different than your genuine, genuine or it's different than your um, gloved hand vintage coach leather. It just says, but it's, it's nice. And they were expensive. They were very expensive. 
when they were sold in the 90s and they're expensive now unless you find one for cheaper you know i mean you can definitely find a deal but let me show you how the strap works so it goes through here and then you have these like just these little buttons so um let's see if i just put it on the one to make it as short as possible let's see what it looks like See how short it is. That shortens it a little bit more for um, shoulder body wear for me. And I still think it's long, it's still pretty long to wear crossbody. I've seen people, when these straps are missing for these greasy bags, I've seen people um, hook uh, a uh, chain, uh, just a, a chain uh, strap which I think these bags look really classy that way. So you can, and any chain that would hook to itself or strap that would hook to itself that's small enough to go through those loops, you could do that with. Um, let's just show you how this looks. Holding her. Top handle. She's so cute. Have I talked about the Regina? I don't think I have talked about the Regina, but I have some Reginas to talk about. I just need to kind of fix them up. So one other thing I wanted to mention before I go with this video, again, keep on uh, sign up and follow me because I'm gonna mention some more, um, or I'm gonna show you some more Madison collection bags, is that this is technically what they would have come in um, if purchased from Coach, which is a flannel, sorry remember it it's a flannel bag and that is how coach recommended you to store these bags so I actually have a flannel bag for the caramel Regina um, yeah and that's what it that's what they would have come in so uh, kind of nice little thing to have and oh, I think it even says Madison collection on it it does right there at the bottom but okay well that's all I got for you for this video we're gonna talk more about Madison. There's more for me to, uh, to say. Sorry, this video is a little all over the place. I apologize. Um, I was trying to do it spur of the moment. I've been wanting to get it done and I had a few minutes, so here we go. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach Bag Talks, especially if you wanna see what other Madison bags I'm going to show you. Okay, thanks for watching.